Now let's add uh, our own type into this. Let's give it, uh, you see our function has, uh, has two types, two generic types. And let's say uh, we want to give it a third one and we're going to make our own struct and we'll make this, uh, this animal struct again. And we'll give it a name and that will be a string and an age, which will be a uh, U8. And then uh, we want to print it out. So uh, we'll give it debug for now. And then um, let's see, it was partial ord. And this next one, what do we want to call it? Usually it's TUV. I'm going to say my generic type again. And uh, this will be, uh, let's see, display or debug. That's what I mean. My generic type debug. And we have debug up here. Display and debug. By the way, this is how you uh, you uh, bring in multiple types. Is uh, go standard format display and standard format debug. So you can put them inside these uh, these curly brackets. And this uh, you can see that this is starting to get really long, which is uh, what this example is for. Uh, animal will be my generic type, and see see how long it's getting. So this will uh, this will print that out, and then it will also print out. By the way, I have an animal, and then it'll just print that out for no reason. Uh, animal, <clears throat> and so we will take go down to main, and first we will create our animal. Uh, we'll call it Charlie, and uh, name is uh, Charlie two string. And then uh, age will be eight or one. And then we take this uh, compare and display and we uh, we give it Charlie. And by the way, it's not even a reference to it. We're just, uh, this is going to own Charlie. We don't care right now because we're not going to uh, print Charlie out ever again. So there we go. By the way, I have an animal, animal, and it prints out our animal and so yeah this is very long and the way to uh the normal way and the best way to uh to print this out or to type this out when it starts getting really long is with the uh a keyword called where and see the uh the code block starts here so let's put it over here um and you take this where and instead of T display, you display, and all of this. We say T display, and you do a comma there. So now we can just make that into a T. And uh, you, what does you need? You is a display plus partial ord. And since we indicate that there, we can just say you, and then my generic type uh, that will uh, that will have debug. And so we don't need that. And that is uh, a lot nicer. So just remember, it starts before the uh, the curly brackets and right after the signature here. And then, um, and then you can see this will. All you need to do is uh, is make up some uh, some generic type names, and it'll work exactly the same way. And uh, let's just shrink it down a little bit more to make it. Uh, and you can see why people use. Uh, you know these these short letters for generic types because uh, you know it's nice to nice to type and the uh, people are trained to look for these. They say, okay, this is a T, this is a U, this is a generic type, but it's totally up to you, of course. And then the uh, the last thing to note is that we have a um, a T, U, and a V, and that that means it can be three different types but uh, it can all be the same type too. So if you think of like a, um, an i32, does it have display? Yes, it has display. Does it have display and partial ord? Yes, it does. Does it have debug? Yes. So we, um, so this doesn't mean that we need to give it three different types. You can say display and there we go. And we're just giving it, That's right, four arguments. We're giving it uh, just four numbers of the same type, and that's totally fine. So 
they print it out here. Uh, we can, you know, make them, uh, uh, we can make them floats or whatever, as long as uh, they all have these, uh, these traits, then we can just give it all the same type and that's totally fine.